Hey, and welcome <laughs> to the Drop and Proud Podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Nick Haniel. And I'm Arianna. Wow. Hi, Arianna. How are you? You're on again, aren't I'm you? I'm Grande, yeah. I'm Why on are you again. always here? Get out of this house! It's not me, it's you. It's actually been a while since we've had a guest uh, on the podcast. So. Yeah, it's nice to see a friendly face that isn't Chris's uh, beautiful mug. Wow. You guys having some relationship problems? Or like, cause I well, don't let's go to the first topic, hey? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yesterday, guys, was the end oh. of an era. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We have we have now gone from having our first black president to having our first orange president. Oompa Loompas. Ooh. Ooh, and I believe it. that our next president shall be the color green because lizard people <laughs> are going to inevitably take over our country. That's true. And send us to ISIS. Man, Lizard King. Lizard King's the boy, dude. A little throwback yeah. to Jim Morrison last year. If oh. anybody cares. I was like Jim Morrison. Anyway. <laughs> so guys, life is pretty crazy. We have protesters rioting. Yeah, do they? Stores being broken, limos being burned. <sighs> Starbucks is gone, people. I'm sorry, I yelled. How are the white people <laughs> in D.C. going to live without their Starbucks? They I think can. that's why they went after Starbucks. I wouldn't mm. doubt it. They're like, ooh, these orange, green, white, black, brown orange, green, white, folks black. like their like their Starbucks. We're gonna ruin it. Ooh, bam, exactly. <laughs> boom, yeah, right in your also Starbucks are face. Are getting rid of most limos. Yeah, I, I, I feel like <laughs> whole being Trumps in it. They really burned down Angelina Jolie. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I don't know if you guys saw pictures of the inauguration, but the attendance at the inauguration was like a whole new was, low. Uh, Nobody was there. I wouldn't be Casey there. Casey Neistat was there. Casey Why? Neistat was there because he's white. Oh, was he happy? No, no he wasn't happy. Oh, okay. He made a video where he was just talking about uh, how he wanted Hillary Clinton to win. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, but it was it was real low. And it really showcased the polarized country that we are, both with the riots, with the low number of attendance. Maybe why there weren't a lot of people there, because they were busy rioting, or maybe they are stuck at work. Yeah. Or have children to take care of. Probably. Maybe when well, Obama was, you know, compared in, to they had time. <laughs> Obama was the first black I'm president. I'm joking. And, you know, like, now it's just like Donald Trump and no one likes him. Yeah. I feel I feel like it would have been the same way even if Hillary won because no one really liked her either. I mean, yeah. it was kind of like that aunt you you're forced to live with for a week over the summer. I don't have an aunt. Yeah, I do. I don't have family. What are you? <laughs> well, uh, okay. What were you gonna say? Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it's just that uh, Donald Trump's approval rating is so low. Um, it, it's the lowest that any president's approval rating has been like. I think ever, or even like, I mean, if not in they, recent history, he has a seventy percent disapproval since, rating. Since we started counting that, <laughs> that's what it was. But I mean, I don't think any president really has a very high approval rating, unless he you're has George a what? Sexy Pants. Seventeen percent? No, seventy percent disapproval. No, it's lower than seventy percent. It's not disapproval. seventeen. Oh, disapproval. Disapproval. Okay. Boy. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's a zero percent disapproval. Everyone loves him. <laughs> Everyone loves him. Okay, Kellyanne Conway. Thank I saw you. someone. Uh, My name's actually Betsy. A little, a little. Uh, I love education. Funny thing. Oh. <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> it, it had someone holding up a sign that said Donald Trump's approval rating thirty, uh, thirty percent, <laughs> and Paul Blart Mall Cop's approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes thirty three. Dang, oh. that's hecka true though. <laughs> you know, and. and now this might not seem like it has anything to do with anything but my brother has a sugar mama right mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. brother's got this lady that he goes out with every now and then and then you know she'll, she'll give him little gifts little uh thanks for the din din honey you know what i mean got that I don't right think, no you should clarify <laughs> oh, nah so like every time every now and then she'll buy him things right and so my brother was getting a new computer and stuff, and so she offered to buy her one, or she offered to buy him one. He was all like, "All right, yeah, he's gonna get a new, new computer." And so she's dropping it off to, uh, today on Saturday, and yesterday on the day of the inauguration, she <laughs> accidentally sent him a message that was meant for a friend because this lady is very democratic. She's like this old retired teacher. She's like 73 or something. Keep in mind, my brother's like 24. Mm -hmm. And so twenty four. That's she, as old as he. Oh yeah. And so she accidentally <laughs> she accidentally sends this sends him this message for, meant for her friend that's like super anti Trump and blah blah blah. And my brother loves Trump. And so because mm -hmm. of this one Loving message, he completely cuts things off with her the day before he gets his new computer because she sent an anti Trump message to him, and it yeah. was just like 
Ah, like he cares so much that he's willing to give up such nice things. Why couldn't you just take advantage of this lady? Exactly. Yeah. For one more day. Yeah, let's just take advantage of this poor old lady who thinks that she has a future with this guy. Or not. She probably knows she that she doesn't. Yeah, no. But... I mean, she knows there's no future, but it's just it's just silly. I just... It, I thought it was really dumb. I was Why ruin a perfect friendship over the fact that she doesn't like the same person as you? I don't like Donald Trump. He likes Donald Trump. We're still brothers, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no one could ever take that away from you. Sadly. <laughs> Just kidding. I love my brother, even though he's stupid sometimes. Your brother likes all my posts that I post on your wall. Yeah, because yeah. he's a nice guy. Sure he is. He has too much free time on Facebook. Probably. So do <laughs> I. <laughs> yeah, but that's my story about Donald Trump and how it affected my life. <laughs> I mean, just like we said on the election day or whatever, the the day that it happened or whatever. I don't know if it was the day, but like or that whatever, week or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I, you know what we're talking about, whatever. man. Um, <laughs> it's all about if you want America to be America, the people are the ones that are supposed to have the power. So we are a democracy. Yeah. So if you Donald didn't know Trump that. can't change all of that much, right? Like Obama yeah, said that you want the him people, to do well. The people know? are the change. Yeah. We didn't, or like he didn't do anything. We just kind of told him what to do and he put it in. Mm-hmm. So we are the change. And that's what he left us with. He said we can do anything we want because we are a democracy. We are a strong people. I feel it. Yeah. yeah. That's real nice. I don't know. I think that if people want a change, we will go out and do a change. It, a change. Like right yeah. now, how they don't want, like, Trump as a president, you know, how they're going out they're there, right? They're the going the wrong way. way. Like, MLK didn't go about his issue with, like, going out and being violent. He did a peaceful protest. And I mm-hmm. think everyone actually now all crazy isn't going to help anything. It's just going to make us look dumb and make Trump supporters be like, whoa, like, look at these dumb idiots. Yeah. If they don't know how to, like, handle stuff properly, why should we even try to, like, do anything with them, you know? Mm-hmm. going about it that way isn't going to help anything. It's going to put more salt in the wound. So I feel like people need to understand that instead of going all ham and destroying Starbucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that we should take a chill pill, relax, and try to figure out a game plan. If you really do not want this guy to be your president or, you know, if you want to make sure that he, you can get whatever you believe in across. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. like your climate issues, whatever you want to go for. Like, yeah. That's, that's, definitely that's, right. that's what I want to do. Hey, That's what you want to do. I feel it. <laughs> I feel like if people if people organized peacefully and you know they were just like you either have a nonviolent protest or maybe you you email you call your mm-hmm. your congressman your blah 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 because those congressmen they get elected by you mm-hmm. they are looking for your reelection so mm-hmm. they will not do anything that jeopardizes votes mm-hmm. if you get enough people in your district to tell the congressman you do not let this law pass otherwise you're not getting reelected they will shut their mouth. They will sit down. They will say no. People, you know, the other people will be like, "Oh, come on, I'll give you money." They'll be like, "I won't get reelected, boy. I need my money." <laughs> yeah. So, go straight to the. You got to work your way up, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the whole point of checks and balances. He can do a lot of things, but not unless the congressman, you know, not unless Congress allows it. Mm-hmm. And don't get me wrong, Congress is full of Republicans too. But not everybody's as crazy as the lizard guy. Yeah, Mm -hmm. (laughs) the lizard king. (laughs) I think we're going to be fine, guys. Just try and stay positive, you know, and keep your opinions to yourself in public places. (coughs) Coughing, coughing. (laughs) I'm not coughing towards anybody in the room. I don't know why I coughed. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You got your cough all over me, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Man, that's Uh, gross. I think I need to change. Salty cough. (laughs) Speaking of Martin Luther King, though, guys... Man, we just had a great lesson about the civil rights movement and stuff today. Mm-hmm. I'm very, mm-hmm. I'm very motivated to do some civil rights stuff right now. Yeah. Like, I want to like go to like my local mosque <laughs> and be like, "You guys, good job celebrating your own religion. <laughs> Don't let all these other fucking people tell you how to live your life or that you like to have sex with goats. You just tell them." My goat's prettier than your mother or your Jesus wife. <laughs> Take their insults and just bounce them right back. You know what I mean? Well, bounce them right back. Insults are like bouncy balls. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. You're going to pick something out of nothing. Mm-hmm. That so, tends to be the thing that's happening, though. I don't know. That's crazy. Within this whole time. How, how much has, like, improved in our country since then? Like, it's so crazy. Well, improvement has... Well, like, within the last eight years. 
It, 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 it depends on who you're asking, really. Well, I mean, what I mean is the facts. I mean, if you're asking somebody that knows the facts, yeah. Obama pretty much kept most of his promises. But if you're asking somebody that doesn't care about that doesn't care about facts at all and just cares about party lines. Mr. and Mrs. Haynes. You know, Haynes, the I mean, underwear company. Oh, yep. I'm They'll just, just be like, <laughs> oh, he's a Democrat, therefore everything he does is bad. Mm-hmm. And I mean, if mm-hmm. you listen to a speech by Donald Trump, there are some good things in there. He's talking about bringing jobs back to America, mm-hmm. rebuilding the working class. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, yeah all right, I can stand cool. for that. And then he says something else about, you know, Muslims or something, and I'm just like... You were so close there, it's, buddy. It's not really... It, it's, just, it, it's more him than his ideology. By bringing the jobs to America, I'm not sure if it'll be the right jobs for America, though. I mean... Jobs is jobs. Yeah, Yeah, dude. but, I mean, I don't know. There's more underlying stuff. Just like how they wanted, like... I'm going to bring this up again. Like the pipeline built, you know? And they're yeah. like, yeah, a little bring jobs. But, I mean, that will negatively affect our Earth later and us later. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't mean just because they're jobs doesn't mean that they're, like, good jobs. It's just, like, construction jobs. Yeah, but that's still ruining our earth and No, stuff. I mean, <laughs> the the jobs that are being shipped overseas, oh. it's just, like, working in a factory. That's, that's like, all it really... Okay, well, I may be showering you with... And, uh, I mean, plus, moving the jobs over there... They... I never get to talk. Boy, <laughs> shut up! You're so thought. annoying! I'll kill you, dude. <laughs> like, you'll start yelling. <laughs> but I mean, even if we Sorry. ship... <laughs> Headphones warning. <laughs> even if we ship the jobs to another country, it's still on the earth, so... I know. It's still... I, all of it's bad. To me, all of it... I don't know. All of it's bad. Yeah. Jobs. I, I, I feel like instead of focusing on bringing working class jobs back, we should bring... Edu- we should just raise education levels, you know? Because mm-hmm. I feel like we're an educated society... Instead of working Some on, of us. instead of working, <laughs> yeah, instead of working on things like sitting there, like hitting your hammer on the thing ten thousand times a day, you're like fixing the robot that does that shit for you, mm-hmm. you know, so that people can be more productive. And the robots take over the world. Exactly, man. And we're all be a long dead. Time from now. No, it's gonna happen right now. Hey, wow. robots are everywhere. We got destroy oh, no. all humans. No, nigga, trying to save it. No. Destroy uh, all the robots. Oh, like no, that. Nick, no. Tell my mother I love her. <clears throat> Let us know no. if that went on for too long in the comments. <laughs> destroy all the humans. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So those robots, huh? We guarded them off. Wait, aren't you dead? Who are you? Just because I go, uh, it doesn't mean I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so you just had a long groan and closed your eyes Benson, for a bit man. while yeah, while dude. Chris and I are trying to save you from these robots. Wow. I was just resting my eyes. You're, You're a, a bad person. Friend. Let me rest my eyes for a couple sex right now. Sex? Sex. Like for seconds. a couple sex? Couple seconds. Like every sex. What are you oh, saying you are about? So, sex? Yeah, every gender. Every gender. Wow. Is just. Are you saying that I'm not a trans robot? Yes, I am. Cow? Not saying that. What kind of modern day do we live in where Donald Trump is getting rid of marriage equality? Man, I can't marry my robot. Wait, so wasn't marriage equality an executive action? What do you mean? I mean, <laughs> what? No, <laughs> you gotta dumb that down twenty levels. What was was equal. Okay, so an executive action. That's where Obama says, blah 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 and then it happens, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly... Wasn't that an executive action? Yeah. Or is that going to get repealed under Donald Trump? I or, no, 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 I, I don't I think, think so. I think Congress said it that. Won't. I think Congress said that. It wasn't... It wasn't Obama. I, I, it was know, I know that Obama was like... He got inspired by one of his daughters because his daughter was like, how come we get to get married but they don't? And then he was like, oh shit, son, you're right. Mm-hmm. Or daughter, you're right. And so then like he went and he made it you know, a thing. Because he couldn't look at his daughter in the eyes and say, these people can't love one another. I read that. I was like, oh, girl, get it, obey me. <laughs> obey me, get I mean, it. <laughs> I wish we could get like a list of Obama's executive actions so that we can kind of just get a scope on what is supposedly all going to be repealed. Google it. I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not an me? asshole. Excuse me, I use Bing. Oh, my God, Bing it. <laughs> uh, Ew, what are you, Trump? Or what are you, Trump? Are you what Trump? Are you Trump? <laughs> Speaking of 2008, back in 2008, you know, no Bing, was, Bing, Bing, and <laughs> Bing and Google are going back and forth, and so Bing decides to hold like, like a like a competition. Were you there? No, <laughs> but but it, it, it was called it was called Bing it on, right? And Bing, so I'd rather die. <laughs> yeah, no, it was called Bing it on, and the, and the image was like a, a big muscle man arm. Why well, wasn't it the Bring it on movie? It doesn't I'm matter. A little be upset. Quiet. I'm sorry. <laughs> and so and so the Bing they would go around in different cities and they would ask people on the streets, oh, which search 
thing do you prefer, Bing or Google? And so this was a Bing sponsored event. And Google won by like 70%. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I remember it because it was such a PR massacre. The same 70% that disappears in Trump. Yeah, dude. They totally <laughs> just got wrecked. <laughs> but it, it was pretty sad, honestly. <laughs> Man. I feel it, dude. That YouTube. Is, that's super sad. YouTube drama. Onision? Drama. Never mind. Or... Let me drop that name from my mouth. I don't want to deal with it. I'm okay. I don't know any YouTube drama. Onision on right now. has some crazy drama right Tell me now. About it. I don't know okay. who that is. Onisi- okay, okay. I don't want to talk about it, but I want to talk about it. Onision scares me. He is scary. He is to be scary. What can he do? He can ruin your life. Who's really? Onision, Onision is this 31 year old. <laughs> He's this 31 year old guy. He's been on YouTube for like eight or nine years. He's super successful, super, super opinionated. He's not afraid of anyone. And what he has to say, he wants to make sure the truth is out. Anyway, but he had this polygamy. I want to say, like, what is it? Poly- poly- polygamous? Polygamy? Polygamy? Polygamous? Yeah, I don't want to stutter because he's probably going to make polygamy. fun of me if he ever hears this. Onision. Onision, no, no, don't no, make fun no, no, of no, me. No, no, Come no, at me. No. A polygamist is so- somebody who, like, fights with their hand. Oh. I think. Well, I don't know. Yeah, poly- you know what I mean. Anyway, oh my god, I'm gonna get oh, like no, that's you're gonna pul- get roasted. That's, wait, wait, I'm gonna wait, wait, get dragged no, no, so sorry. bad. That's a pulogist. <laughs> Polygamist, yeah, you're right. Okay. Anyway, but he has a wife, and yeah, he has a wife, and then he got this other girl in their relationship, and a bunch of it's just been so much like him like dropping her and stuff just because like she smokes weed, and he's like, "You're such a bad person" because she does it legally because she doesn't have a card, and so he made her sign a contract that she would stay away from all like uh, like uh, illegal drug users, and she was like, "No," because like that's my family and stuff, and then like he wanted her to be chained up to a wall with a sign that said like um that said i'm sorry for lying to you and like the missus her name or like you know whatever like his wife's name is and it's just really crazy and there's just been a lot of drama and like he called her out because she has like an eating disorder and like all this other stuff wrong with her or not wrong with her other issues okay and i don't know Mm -hmm. it's just a whole lot of drama (laughs) and i've been catching up with it trisha paytas is crazy as usual Hmm. shane dawson is I don't Sad, watch enough YouTube. As usual. I, I watch a drama. lot of YouTube drama. I don't drama. watch enough of that region of YouTube. Yeah, I, I watch very specific YouTube channels. Onision's fun to watch <laughs> <laughs> when you're bored and you're like, hmm, I want some like tea to spill, but not my own tea. Is it so like I'm going to go watch Facebook him. Facebook content where it's just like unoriginal and uh, very bad acting. No, it's bad original because it's him. <laughs> like, mm. it's his Isn't actual. Isn't it him just talking crap and giving opinions? Yeah. And he stirs up like, like okay, he started that whole thing if with I Eugenia that, Cooney. I could just open a door for a liberal. I guess. Anyway, Here, but... please go in front of me. <laughs> oh my God! Did you just open the door for me? I'm a strong, independent woman. What if we have liberals watching? Wow. I'm a liberal. Wow, way to go, Nick. <laughs> I'm a liberal myself, so Piece I mean. Of shit. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, no hate towards Onision. Don't drag me. I'm sorry. Oh my Don't God. open the door for me. Don't drag me. I'm sorry. I'll I didn't mean you. it. I'll drag you through that open door that I'm going to open because you tried to open it for Ooh, me. And he's getting a bunch of crap because like he has this thing called on- Onision.xyz and like the he has like people like he doesn't make them but like they have like young girls maybe older girls you know different girls from different size Mm -hmm. you know ages anyway but they like take pictures of their body and he makes youtube videos uh judging their body like if they're fat he'll be like oh you're a fat piece of shit and if they're skinny he'll be like dude you're you're hella way too skinny you need to gain some weight they kind of subject themselves (laughs) exactly that's what onision saying he's just like you know like they put their photos out there i don't know how old they are i'm just giving my opinion because they want it and then other people are like oh my god you sicko what do you do you get off to this like oh my god like, what like gave him that idea, girls... though? Like, 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 I get Eugenia Cooney. It. I think that's where it started because he was like telling her that she's too skinny and that she doesn't eat and like she has an actual eating disorder issue because she's like skin and bones, like she's super tiny. And then like that kind of his website kind of sprung off of that, and then you know whatever, whatever. That's, that's what I think it came from, but yeah. Why it are is people crazy. so crazy? I don't guys. know. <laughs> I feel like if it's none of your business, don't put your nose in it. For real. But he like, needs to make content, and he's making good content because yeah, he's getting a lot of reactions. Content. I don't but know. Like, so there's just some things that don't need to be on the internet. Yeah. Us. I don't know. It's just a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Hi guys. <laughs> Why are we even here? I don't know. I don't we should know. probably just disappear. Let's off ourselves. Should we just end this now? With All right, guys. On? I'll drink this punch. <laughs>
You drink this punch. You drink okay. this punch. You ready? Yeah. I'm drinking right now. I'm drinking as right. I'm talking. Ready? Talk, One, talk, talk, drink, two. Drink, drink. Bye. Oh, oh God. Uh, oh. I didn't drink it. You bastard. Sorry. Uh, Sick. Um, bye. <laughs> you killed bye. us. Oh, are you gonna are you gonna groan again? Or are you dead this time? Yeah, no. I'll show you the difference. Wait. This is like a regular tired groan. Uh, this is a death groan. Uh, you. Bye. Bye. I'm dead. <laughs>